It's a middleweight matchup between Robert Whitaker and Vitor Belfort. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, here he is, the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whitaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fights, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whitaker, which allows you to recover because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in Yoel yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. He has certainly been every bit that. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Whitaker is 29, Belfort is 36. The rest is nearly identical. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC light heavyweight champion, Vitor, the Phenom Belfort. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Robert Whitaker! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? You ready? to two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Way to hide that leg kick. Effective punch there by Vitor Belfort. 
misses with the right hand. Counterpunch landed there by Belfort. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, how about the Whitaker right hand? See, this is why when you sit down to play EA Sports Every UFC time. 4. John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know where I'm going. I try to make it go random, but I randomly select the Reaper Robert Whitaker. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. What a punch. Superman punch now. Unable to connect it. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bar. Big leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punch over the top. Under a minute now to go on the round. First effort take down. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice counter there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to oh! go finish his fight. Whoa! Final seconds of round one. What an end to round one. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch by Belfort. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Belfort gets stung by that leg kick. Visibly limping here. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, big punch lands. Final seconds here of round two. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice punch by Belfort. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, uh, he might be out. <laughs> Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That knee might have landed there. Another knee by Belfort. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whitaker's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Right punches there. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Big ball from Brunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Robert Whittaker. Oh, single collar tie here. Belfort going for the leg kick. He misses. Big kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. 
everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slow. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Belfort gets caught with that punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Take him down. Oh! Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Whitaker. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Another nice knee to the body. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Punch is blocked. from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Ooh, big shot lands. He's, he's limping now. He blocks the punch. Take him down. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Oh! Oh, is he hurt? 
Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Belfort gets caught with that. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, just misses with the kick. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Great punch. Real nice body kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Belfort's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Belfort. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Vitor the Phenom Bellboy. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate that the fight was standing 